Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Total War Thrones of Britannia with our Sursan campaign. Our King Ed is between the rubbles, the burning rubbles of the city of Matrafal and we are working on kicking Gwynwed out of this war in order to go ahead and continue our quest for the Stone of Destiny. Now let's see, what should we be doing first? Uh, I think we moved most of our armies, we have no more cash on hand, so ending the turn seems like a pretty good idea, if you ask me. So let's just do so, going forward. I'm gonna try to work on setting a peace treaty with Gwynwed. Let's check it out. King Ed became hospitable from the Great Hall. Beowan became has ample supplies from not having food shortage. Aileen became lavish and Don Chad became a mediator from having higher than 10 public order, giving him one point to governing, which is pretty good. We have healthcare here. 15 unit replenishment with plus one to food upkeep faction wide. We still have a lot of food, we don't have to worry. We let's take a quick look at what we are working for. We are going for campaign movement, rec reduced recruitment cost, and reduced upkeep for our units. Okay, well that's that. Legendary. Uh I was taking a look at this part of the map and trying to figure it out how far do I want to go south. Now going south is definitely a plus, like taking these two territories will provide us with 163 extra food. Food is probably the resource that we need the most. And then we have this extra income and public order from the church here. We definitely want to go and attack this rebel army here, which would uh, complete Offa's dick. So all in all, we have quite a few targets. What I'm trying to avoid, most of all, is this long conquest victory, because we had it before. Somehow I'm trying to go more towards the long fame victory while at the same time finding the stone of destiny. The big problem with this is that if we reach a long victory condition we will encounter that final battle between a faction, an invading faction from the south which we do not care for at this point but we do care about the Danes from coming to us from the east and we do care about the Norsemen coming in from the north. Even if we have these 18 stack armies, that is not enough to fight the 18 stacks. I think most of them, like in the last campaign we had what, 7? stacks invading our land now this this is a higher difficulty so it might be a bit more dangerous to to go that way so yeah that's that let's work let's start get uh, let's start on our campaign here we are going to go south first of all I think this is a pretty good idea to go ahead and occupy these two territories. We've taken over this settlement here. We're gonna take over this food settlement from Gwynwed. And then I'm going to use this army to take over Aberfo. I think there is a unique building here. Let's check the map. Uh, they say that there is a unique hall here. So this might actually help us in the long run to get more fame. What else? We have a general who has low loyalty. It's this guy, 
minus one from spells, minus one from difficulty. We said in the last episode that we are going to work on diversing them. And let's do that. Hopefully he will not be broken hearted on the next turn. But now he's back to having a pretty good loyalty towards us. Ligan will stay here for you. Now this is pretty tough. Do I want to keep advancing here? If I take over this territory, we will be able to take these two villages. This one has a sheep farm and a port. This one right here has a farm. This one that doesn't belong to us has some income, right? Uh, okay, this is not a farm but a woodcutter. And this one is a monastery. So all in all, it can be a pretty good territory. For the glory of the gales. Uh, but it does conflict with our idea of... You know, just going for the Son of Destiny before we get the long campaign victory here, the long conquest victory. Yeah, we might have to think about, sorry, we might have to think about going to war with these factions again. To improve the Long Kingdom victory, which might change our name from Alba to something else. And give us some extra bonuses. Yeah, it, it's a bit pretty difficult idea all in all. We are very close for the Long Fame victory here. We just need the extra fame and this Cathedral of St. Cuthbert. Which we should start working on during the next turn. Hmm. So yeah, let's get back to it. Let's threaten Gwynwed. One thing that we definitely need is definitely... Two times definitely. Take him out of the war. Sorry, I need to, to drink something. I, I feel like choking a little bit. Okay, uh, then we have some of our other troops, let's see, so we use them, we use them to go ahead here, with this faction, let's take back our monastery, we've taken the territory back, let's change the monastery to our very own and I think that's about it we want to keep the money we want to upgrade the cathedral of Saint Cuthbert to the next level in order to achieve our goal well that's about it I'm trying to gather up some energy I feel pretty tired today can't really bring uh, can't really pump myself up Probably very different than our usual episodes, but I'm gonna do my best. So let's try this out like there's no tomorrow. This man has been whispering rumors behind your back, riling up the people. You probably shouldn't stand for it now, lest it becomes a much bigger problem later on. If we spend 2000 gold to silence him, we're not gonna be able to construct cathedral you know what on this particular turn we're gonna pay for his silence he became an arbitrator there that is fine by me we finished construct constructing on this aisles the runestone carver we check it out we can see it here the next stone the next upgrade is the runestone workshop, a place of blood and sweat where the artisans of the runes gather to ply their trade. Losing some extra food, but we have plenty of that. 
we gain a bunch more income from industry double that almost two unit morale faction wide from one more fame more public order i think it's all okay to go ahead and just do that let's pick our king again we might not want to go here for one turn but i'm gonna bring it I, I guess I can't do much, but I'll let him stay in our territory before marching forward. Getting a few replenishments there. I am going to use this army to besiege this settlement. This might actually present a problem to us because these Cantref spearmen are, seem to be like rebel free troops. These swords are level 3 and we have these archers, the lo these longbowmen, who we already know that are pretty tough. Okay, let's keep going. These troops will stay still. What do we want to do here? Are four siege engines good enough? Spears, swords, we have four swordsmen. You know what? I think they are. So without further ado, let's get this fight going. This settlement seems pretty small than what we're used to. I wonder if we've played on this map before. So let's get this going. Uh, dry weather, definitely. Now this settlement has a few ways through which we can attack. There's one way here, there's another way, there's a bigger way, definitely we're going to attack from here or free here. Okay. I don't think we ever fought on this map before, did we? So let's uh, put our siege engines like this. Two on this side, two on this side. I am going to leave my Axemen behind. Because they're not the toughest. And bring our swords in. So let's put a sword here. With this sword here. And then there's their sword. And this one. And then we'll put our Axemen and our Spearmen right behind them we probably need to mix them up otherwise we're gonna have some spearmen oh. yeah definitely put them like this what else let's try to bring our javelins to the front to take some of the hits make sure that these two actually four siege weapons don't get destroyed because we had this problem in the past and that's about it so let's bring them to the walls javelins i would like you to go ahead and just fire on these Male Swordsman, I think that's probably the best idea. And then we'll bring on to the front the rest of our troops. I'll keep the rest of the troops behind. Let's just do a bit of a quick fast forward to this battle until we can get our engagement going darn it 
I hate that misclick, though we, our javelins did the job that we wanted them to do, which means that most of our troops survived actually getting close to the wall. This will be pretty problematic. Most of his melee troops are up the wall. Let's try to bring some people in here. Spearman! You go through here. Actually let's try to engage them like that. You go through here. Spearman! The only problem I have with this is that they do not go through uh, the nearest siege tower. They're trying to go all around. Okay, javelins, let's try to... Shoot at this spearman. The Our swordsman got engaged there. We can engage this general here. Getting his general out of the battle will probably be a great idea. These two troops engaging here. This is soon we'll have to engage the long bowman unless we want to take a whole lot of casualties that will not be great for us. We already did as you can see. Okay. This swordsman go there, goes there, you come on this side. With you, I want you to engage this swordsman. Okay, they want to engage the swordsman. The the archers want to engage our king's blades. That is totally okay by me. You, yep, keep fighting their general. And then engage his troops. No, you stay here, please. You engage here. You go north, we are close to having their gate, so let's bring our cab in, let's bring our dogs in. Here we broke them, I think at this point we can actually just go ahead and... Yep, there we have it. The battle is ours, we are victorious, so we can take over his city. Now this is a pretty slow day for me, it's pretty hard to pick myself up. I'm very low on energy, but I'm gonna do my best for you guys. And make sure that we're continuing with our campaign, with our goal in mind of getting the Stone of Destiny. Let's see, what do we have here? We have a settlement, we have some food that we don't really need. This is bonuses for the rest of the settlements. Do we want to keep the industry? We have some industry here. There's going to be some farming buildings. More f uh, monasteries and here is a wood settlement. So, yeah, industry stays, but for the rest of the buildings, uh, the extra food, I don't think it will count at this point. Not these types of buildings that multiplied. They became confident. They also received wall breaker from winning a siege battle, plus one to morale when laying siege and minus one to siege attrition. Good. Uh, Regan, nope, let's check out the generals in the south, our king for example, and our other army, Ooh, they're building, they're bringing more troops in, can they reach our village, no they cannot, 
Hmm. The men are eager to get to it. They'll fall before Yeah, us. it's difficult to make a choice here. I'm going to try to be between these two settlements. Hmm. And we'll end the turn. See what the next one will bring. And can I think they can actually, yeah, darn it, they could actually take our settlement on with the other troops he has on hand. We can target Regan, show no mercy, and we kill him, or it's better to talk. We'll go for talking. His experience from having above 15 years old and supports the industry, a level 3 trait plus 10 extra income from industry from the salt building. That is amazing. Bring me their I am going to attack this element. We're definitely not going to fight this battle. We've taken out his king. So with that being said, we're occupying this element. We're also, we should be repairing it because we are at minus 17 food. That is pretty bad for us. I am going to use this army to take over this territory. And before we start, you know, conquering some of these, let's see, can we reach any of the settlements? No, we cannot. So what I am actually thinking is that here, Church of the Oak. In the shadow of a great tree stands the church of the purest and most pious of saints. Plus 2 to public order, plus 10 to fame, plus 10 to chance to having children to all characters and plus 15% income from church. So we could go for this in order to get some fame and here I'm going to build the storage cave. You know, the Church of St. Cuthbert is something we need. I'm gonna wait one more turn there. Let's try Show no mercy. to actually take over this element. We have four siege weapons. We have a catapult. Yeah. Let's attack him. Let's take over it his town. We're, we're going to have to play it pretty carefully, but I am thinking that taking over this town we might be able to actually declare peace on him and his vassals, which is Powys. I don't want to fight him any longer, because he presents, with, uh, presents us with a few problems. Oh, how do we want to do this? Yeah, I think we'll be fine if we fight Wait here. Orders. Do we want to push the swordsman in front? Axman. And I think the answer to that is Axman. yes. Gonna do it like this. Make them lose the siege Swords weapons. Back. I'm gonna push a one of our swordsmen there and then go for the Alban Axe, which is better than our normal axes, our Cateran Axeman, and then go for the next unit here. Yeah, once again, swords and Alban Axe. And with the rest of you, we're gonna keep you... No? I guess I didn't click hit to right. Then I'm gonna put the Axeman like this, I'm gonna put the Spearman like this. And I'm gonna move the other Spears on this side. Yeah, Bowman in the front. Dogs. Cap. Set for war. Making ready. And finally the catapult. 
which we're gonna use in order to take down their towers. So let's start the battle, let's shoot at his towers, let's climb his walls, and do the same with the rest of our troops. Now let's move the rest of our troops closer to the walls, let's take our archers. Yeah, these troops are already out of battle. Let's shoot at his own longbowman. This unit broke already as well. Yeah, these troops have no will to fight. Today, it seems like I have no will to fight either. It's one tap morning. But let's push this through. We can't allow any type of enemy to defeat us. Okay, now let's shoot. At least the catapult is doing some work. Let's start fighting, firing at his other tower. Let's retrieve his bowman. Yeah, there you have it. Another tower down. Let's shoot at his what? Longbowman? I think shooting at his longbowman there is great. Let's engage his troops here. For some reason they got out. I don't know what their big idea is, but <laughs> that seems like maybe the AI is taking pity of me because I'm not feeling too great. I think we'll be fine. Let's check it out. Let's make sure that these troops, what are they doing there? Let's make sure that these troops will be able to climb the walls. Yeah, you attack there, you go here. This is probably one of the weirdest battles that we've ever had as far as what the troops' behavior is. Okay, let's engage those troops there. Against troops here. Oh, come on! Climb the walls. With you, yeah. Engage those spears, please. And at this point, we don't have any kind of ammo. I will, since he doesn't have any towers, I will bring our general. It's Definitely safe for us to be around. You. Hmm. Engage there with you. I will would like you to engage here with the ma mailed swordsman. Ready for war. Good, we've engaged that part of the army. Now this battle feels like it should be a whole lot easier than it feels right now. I'm probably going to go ahead and make myself a good cup of coffee. Maybe that's what I'm missing right now. Good, we've done our job there. And the sea. Enemies beware. Everybody hmm. These are our X-Men who are breaking a tiny little bit from the swords. They are flanked on two sides by swordsmen. There's even more swords here. Let's try to bring our archers in. Good. Now let's engage these swords, though we have a bunch of X-Men on hand, there's the King's Blade here, which we're going to use to engage these swords unit, and then we have another unit of swords here, 
that are engaged already with the general's unit and another unit of swords. Hmm. Let's try to speed it up a little bit. I believe it's quite boring at this point. I'm going to try to flank them right here. No, it is bugging out a little bit. Let's try to bring in a bunch of cav. Let's engage using these troops here. Let's engage these units using those troops. And finally, these ones here. I think we've got this battle in the bag. There we have it. Another victory. Pretty easy all in all. They just resisted with some of their rank 3, free chevrons units. But we're going to be fine going from here onwards. Let's occupy their territory. We have... Ooh, another Master Bard's Hall, which means 10 extra campaign movement plus 25% income to all and fame and public order. Let's see. Ah, not like that. So there we have it. We are actually pretty... We still have a quite a bit away. Uh, a bit of a road to reach the long fame victory but we've done pretty well so far Our yeah what i'm going to do now is we've reached the 13 minute mark so i am going to take a break and make myself some coffee i thought i could do this first hour of the morning just get inside it and uh, get this done but man i'm running out of energy today so probably it's best to just take a break gather some up some energy up and uh, try to get back into it not every day can be a sunday right so for the moment i thank you very much for watching and i look forward to seeing you all in the next episode have a wonderful day everyone